Hello everybody, I'm Yolanda, aka Creative Mommy of Two, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Today, I have started a new project. I've kitted this one up already like two weeks ago, but I started it last week. But I'm now, for the first time, going to work on it on screen. So, this is my new whip and chat project so this is what this video is a whip and chat so we're going to just ramble on about everything that happened and we are going to work on our work in progress aka whip and yeah you need to see whatever that is for you if you're working on a diamond painting a cross stitch just doing your regular housework or whatever just whatever floats your boat and yeah, let's get started. So first off, since I'm pretty high up in the canvas, sorry that you will see the legs of my tripod. And also I will have a glare right here. And basically like everywhere. Yeah, I'm still filming in the evening because the kids still have vacation. So yeah, it's a little bit of a somewhat mess. So yeah, reflections our thing with plastic coverings and tablecloths and everything. So yeah. But yeah, if you've been it before, you know this already, but oh well. I do think I do need to change out my wax because it's not sticking the best anymore. I'm a really hard presser, so probably that's like part of the issue, but yeah, go to grab my Container to throw in all my trash. Hold on. I'm just behind the camera, but yeah. So yeah, I have like a jar that's filled like with all the trash from like, I think by now it's like four or five years of diamond painting. So yeah, I use a lot, but it's not too bad. <laughs> Whatever I use upstairs that is not in this container or something, that's like whatever I can find upstairs. Yeah, it's discolored a little bit, so I don't know if you can see it, but like yeah, there it's like totally, well, way off. But like there it's like totally grayish. <laughs> I don't think that's actually in the potty I'm using, so. <laughs> Tweezers back in there. I'm going to grab this one again. This is oh, wrong way around. You're looking at, at the same way as this is case cup of putty, innocent pineapple. So I'm working up this one first, and I do need to say it works up amazingly. I have already worked on quite a lot, so I don't have much left anymore. <laughs> I think I have like already like half of it or something gone. Ooh. But yeah, it's nice stuff to work with. It's really, it's really good. So yeah, if you, in case you want to have it, Kay does have an Etsy shop. I'm going to try to find the link and put it in the description box below this video. Yeah, so Kay is also a YouTube creator here on YouTube, Crafting with Kay. And yeah, she is just a wonderful person. And I've won a uh, putty mystery box, kind of something uh, with her Summer Colors event, which was in June and July, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. And I won that like actually in like the first week. So that was really nice. <laughs> Sorry in case you hear the thunder in the background. It's a little bit of a bad weather at the moment here. Oh, come on. I'm throwing stuff everywhere. Drills are flying today. Just starting great. Oh yeah, I needed to actually start with yellow. Oh well. 
But yeah, so Kay does have a YouTube channel, as I said. And yeah, she's just amazing. And yeah, she now does putty. So she sells them uh, in the store of Cindy, aka Diamond Peeling Fanatics. But she now recently opened her own shop. So yeah, take a look if you like. If you want to have some great smelling putty. Yeah, I personally, I like to use putties in like my multi-placers. I'm more like a wax lover in the single placer. I don't know why, but if I use like wax in a multi-placer, I have the feeling that it doesn't stick or stick too bad or whatever all. I do like it for the single placer, so. <laughs> and it's basically like somewhat the same with a regular like wax in a multi in a yeah whatever the opposite <laughs> my brain is like bye bye I'm not going to work alone today but yeah so yeah I do like this putty so yeah I highly recommend it okay I'm now working on my own shadow this is not great <laughs> I'm right-handed and I have my big light, which is like my overhead light from my dining room table. It's on my right as well. So, so also, sorry if you don't, if you can't see that much, but if I turn on my ring light even more, then I think I also won't see a thing because then I am stuck with glare. So it's like a little bit of like choosing between two evils. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. I totally forgot to ask. How bad of me? How are you all doing? I hope you had a fantastic week. My week was not so super eventful. I did some fun stuff, but nothing like, oh wow, this is like a amazing thing that happened, or it's kind of like a week of like, eh, it was the usual. Nothing exciting, but also nothing terrible. So that's always a good part. Let's see. That one there, that one there, those there. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully your summer isn't too warm where you're at. Here it's like way too hot for especially for Dutch standards. I think many people would have with these temperatures like oh nothing strange this is like normal temperatures but for us it's way too hot because it's now like around 30 to 35 degrees celsius um, basically anything over 25 for dutch standards is just way too warm because the humidity is just way too high and it feels like so awful and like clammy and ugh. Like as soon as it's like past 25. So like my feeling is always that a temperature of like around 20, 23 maximum is like a good temperature here. Because everything past that and it's just way too hot. And it's just not fun. And yeah. Yeah, that might also just be my opinion. But yeah. But yeah, so at the moment, like yesterday and today, it was like really hot. But now in the evening, since like six o'clock or something, give or take that time, we've had like a lot of bad weather. We had hail, kind of big hailstones. We had thunder, which is still going. We had a lot of rain and yeah, it's a whole lot of something. <laughs> yeah, thankfully I'm inside, so it's not too bad. And the thunder is still like far enough away that like it doesn't really affect us that much. Well, more than lightning. <laughs> But yeah, it's at times just like, 
especially since I have all my um, curtains closed I don't see like a lot of the uh, lightning so at times it can kind of startle you if you have like, the thunder like all of a sudden banging about okay, we need to move this cover monitor just a little bit so I can yeah that's a little bit more comfortable Oh, come on. That's a really weird one. One with multiple colors in it. <laughs> yeah, so the weather is like way too warm for me. So hopefully where you're at, it's not so extreme as here. Because, yeah, it's not fun. The entire summer is like strange weather. First we had like way too wet. Now it's way too warm. And... Yeah, I'm curious to see what it will be next. So yeah. Weather, the universal thing to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. These were really placed like garbage. Yeah, it was so warm that I was also with like the kids, like I didn't let them go outside this morning. I myself have been yanking out some wheat from the garden. For well, weeds, not wheat, not like smoking wheat, but <laughs> like the annoying, pesky, growing trash in the garden. <laughs> yeah, so I've been pulling that out a little bit so that I hopefully can get it out of there but doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon but oh well need to do still need to do it a little bit carefully because if you've been in before you well at least last week you might have heard me saying that I don't know what I did with my knee but I heard it well it's still not feeling the greatest so I did need to be like a little bit careful because I don't want to start start it all over again. But it's now at a point where I'm not necessarily needing to lay down in the evening, so that's a good thing. Did try to get a knee brace. Didn't know what my like leg size was, so I just basically guessed one and husband was like, yeah, I think that's that size. Yeah, well, I got the small medium and I needed the large, extra large when I measured it up back home. So, yeah, that was like not a knee brace at all. I didn't even get it like close to my knee. <laughs> so it was more like a shin brace. <laughs> but oh well, oh well. Hopefully, like, next time I'm going somewhere, I can find one. Because on Friday, we um, went shopping. Well, shopping. We went to our city center. Because we needed to have some groceries from the store that they have there. I wanted to look like, for my knee brace and stuff. And some other stuff and so on. So, yeah, we went to our city center and... Yeah, there they had knee braces in all sizes. But yeah, I got the wrong size, apparently. <laughs> and we went to a different store the day after because we wanted to have some... Um, we wanted to have a summer coat for our daughter because <clears throat> the one she has is like so dirty. It is not even normal anymore. So like, yeah, she does need a new one. We always get one like one or two sizes bigger. So at least she can still wear it next year. But yeah, we're also like, she is the kid that loves to run around in the mud. She loves to get dirty. 
so yeah i'm not going to buy her a code that is like 50 euro because yeah no my wallet isn't made out of millions <laughs> so that's not going to happen and we did find some jackets that were like oh that's fun but nothing that were like oh yeah that's it So we went to a different place, like closer to us, uh, well, also close to us on Saturday. We ended up finding one there, so that was nice. But yeah, the action that we that they have there, they didn't have those knee braces. So yeah, that was unsuccessful. But they did have their Halloween stuff out already, so we did our first Halloween shopping. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of love Halloween here in this house. At least decorating for it. I'm like a huge scary cat. Like, I'm actually really... My daughter is like me in that regard. Because she is like really quickly afraid. But yeah, me too. But I do love like Halloween and like the decorations and stuff. But I always like it more like a fun, kid-friendly, cute kind of Halloween. And not like the creepy, gory, just the gorier the better, because that's not my cup of tea, but it is fun. It's like starting to get like pretty big over here, so that's always nice. It's that it's like way too visual to see like what what house it is and stuff and like yeah I'm not going to show you where I live because yeah that's like a no-go <laughs> but yeah, otherwise I could show you like what we do for Halloween but as I said it's like all wet all in front of our house so yeah not that I think that there are a lot of people from the Netherlands here but yeah, if you really want to find information about people, like, internet is the place to go, and yeah. Yeah, we always have some fun stuff, and I do like it. Yeah, so we did our first Halloween shopping. I already plan on next week going to a store for more <laughs> this is the store uh, van Kranenbroek which I have also had some diamond paintings from they are close to where I grew up like actually in like a village over so I sometimes come there when um, I go to my parents I also went there when I dropped off the kids because I wanted to see if they had the Halloween stuff up already they didn't have it up, but they were, I think, at least, like, preparing for it. At least they had, like, a part sectioned off where they were building everything up. So we think that it probably, potentially, was, like, the Halloween stuff. Because Christmas, they do here, like, around... Most of the times, you can start getting uh, Christmas stuff from, like, September 1st. So we think, because especially it wasn't like the really big part, that it will most likely have been the Halloween stuff. Because yes, Halloween is getting bigger here, but it's not so extremely big that it's like half the store or anything. Yeah. Yeah, so next week the kids will be going back to school. Yay! <laughs> oh, mommy wants her peace and quiet back. I really do. I We've had six weeks here now, so it's enough for me. <laughs> and actually both of, the, both of the kids do want to go back to school. So My son almost is like asking me the entire vacation of when he can go back to school. So... I have the idea that he likes it. But yeah, he's been to school for two months before it was vacation, so. 
But yeah, they go back next week. The, my husband has a week off, so uh, by the end of his vacation, I had nine weeks at home, like nine, like more than two entire months with like at least somebody home. So either my husband or the kids or all of them. So yeah, I also want my peace and quiet back. <laughs> but yeah, with my husband home, I can also start doing some stuff again. Hopefully we can make some progress on the attic again. Because then we don't have the kids around, which always makes it a lot easier. I have done quite a lot myself. But yeah, with me being stupid enough to hurt my knee, I am trying to at least keep it somewhat quiet at least. So I'm not planning on doing something this week. Maybe I by the end of the week then I'm like I'm going to do something, but at least hopefully I can start next week again. Then I can be the one that's just handing out everything or just shoving everything in and not needing to Constantly like get up, get down, sc scramble everything through and try to find like where I am and yeah, that should also make it a lot easier. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much we get done. <laughs> also for the first time I have been to an indoor playground with the kids on my own. Went really well. On Friday, I took the kids out. I noticed if I looked up, they were open at like 10 o'clock, I believe. 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. No, 9 o'clock, and we ended up being there like around 10, I believe. We've been there in the morning because on Fridays, my husband works only the, till uh, 1 o'clock. So he's at home or like around 1.30. So I aimed at like going home around 1. When we were just outside of the place, we I got the call from my husband like, Hey, are you still there? Or are you at home? Or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'm now just going to the parking lot to the car. So we'll be there in like 20 minutes or so. So it was home before us, but it's no worries. But yeah, so the kids loved it. They went, they had their, they could play there and run around and act crazy and have fun. And we had lunch there, so we ate uh, poffertjes, which is these like tiny, small, little pancake contraptions. Try to remember to take an image of the internet and put them over here somewhere. Going to try to remember, don't. I don't promise a thing, but they were good. Well, they were like these store bought things and just warmed up, so they weren't the best, but it was nice to not make them myself, because that's a whole lot of something. You have these like special plates with little pans for like making puffages, but yeah, it's way too much of a fuss for me. <laughs> I am at times lazy. And it's also like the fact that if you make them, you need to have quite a lot of them because they're tiny. They're really tiny, so yeah. I rather make the big version and just have fun hook. We had the kids liked it, like both of them ate like, I think our son ate half or something like it. And our daughter a little more. And then afterwards they were like, that he, he wanted to go play again. I was like, yeah, I didn't expect anything else. So that's the nice thing with poffertjes. You can just shove one in your mouth. And when it's gone, you can run along again. You don't need to like cut everything up first and have like a whole lot of something. So the kids were happy with that. It was also a long time ago that I had them, so that was nice. Next. Oh, 
oh, it's a car coming by. I was like, what the hell is that noise? <laughs> that was a loud car. <laughs> Yeah, so the kids could play for a couple of hours. I had some fun. I could just nicely scroll around on the internet on my phone and read some stuff and whatever else. And the kids could just enjoy. Because, yeah, my knee was still hurting, so I was not planning on crawling around in the playground area. <laughs> And they're old enough, they were like, gotta go, okay, bye, <laughs> shoes off and gone. But yeah, that's okay, I was like, we're going to first choose a table where we're going to sit, and afterwards, shoes off and bye-bye. <laughs> so I did pick out something to drink for them, Ugh, also this one had another color, oh well. Okay, I'm still filming, need to double check that. But yeah, so it was basically a case of like the kids came and went however they wanted, which was totally fine. I'm not, don't worry about it. As long as they have the stuff they need and everything, they're happy with it. So yeah, I ordered them some apple juice, so they were happy. I grabbed myself a cup of tea and made myself comfortable. <laughs> But yeah, the kids enjoyed themselves, they had a fun time. My daughter, as per usual, had a little bit of a meltdown when we needed to go. It's basically like her usual when she ha is somewhere where she isn't too often. Like she just doesn't want to go, she wants to stay and yeah. Yeah, I was like, hey, if you are just coming along with me, then mommy can take you out herself more often. Then we don't need to have daddy with us. So maybe in another vacation we can go again. So she was like, oh, okay. And then it was all good. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see how everything next week will go. Because, yeah, she's like... To the bigger class, they go apparently at like a bigger speed with everything and so on. So that's always... Curious to see like how the how everything goes because yeah they need to yeah get used to everything our son at least sits in the same class he was last year so that's nice okay, I do need two of these and obviously that's way too much <laughs> But yeah, our daughter has like mainly the same kids in her class. There were a few that left. Don't know if they were that needed to stay in the same class or anything. So like most of the kids will be the same at least. So that's nice. Son's class I think is mostly the same. I believe there were like two kids that changed schools. But at least the majority of majority of them is the same. But yeah, it's now like getting back into the swing of things, getting up somewhat early, at least earlier than they do normally. Not that I can sleep out at any day, but I can't wait for the fact that when they are old enough that they just sleep in for like hours and hours and hours. Because I like my sleep. <laughs> it's not that I stay in bed at like 11 o'clock or something, but I sometimes would just like to sleep till 9 o'clock instead of 8. <laughs> oh well, somebody can just dream work, right? Come on. Oh, come on! Smoothing out the body again, and then everything should be right again. Huh. I 
Mr. Drew. Yeah, so also like about my knee. I have contacted my doctor last week and was basically like a thing like I can have done multiple things and there's not much we can do about it unless it's like so bad that you can't walk on it again so yeah so basically like until you ha are at the point where you need surgery they basically can't do much so yeah I'm a bit like <sighs> Apparently, it can also take like weeks, if not even months, for it to, it to be fixed. So I'm like trying not to do too much, but still keep it moving because yeah, they say that you need to like keep it moving like as normal as possible. But yeah, I'm also like I'm trying to also keep it a little bit at rest, so I'm also not overdoing it again, because yeah, that also doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, it's annoying. Um, yeah. I don't like to be restricted in my movement of whatever the hell I'm doing. But yeah, now I do need to keep in mind a little bit that my knee is not like normal. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a whole lot of something. <laughs> but oh well, we'll get there. Like as I was saying like a little bit ago, that's what was I what I was blah, 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 what I was going for. Like with like the like going back to school and everything, like I hope that everything will go smoothly because they also start with their gym class again. And then on Friday, well next week, so it's not this week, but like Friday uh, when school starts again then our daughter also starts her swimming lessons and yeah it will be a busy busy week so I'm curious to see how all of that it goes let's see what I all have here Yeah, I was thinking like what all did I have in my like little notes and it was laying a little bit annoying that I couldn't read it. <laughs> yeah, what else did we do? Oh yeah, yesterday for me, so on Monday, I had our daughter read a little bit like a small like page from a book, I like all these like mini stories. I let her read a page and afterward as a reward I let her choose like a craft that she wanted to do she ended up choosing a like bracelet making kit our son let I let you um, let play with play-doh in the meantime Ooh, these are static kind of <laughs> Yeah, so our son was playing with Play-Doh and our daughter, I needed to help with bracelet making. Because, yeah, I've made these bracelets myself when I was smaller. Well, when I, not per se smaller, but when I was a kid. <laughs> they were always fun to do. They were these like sand bracelets. And apparently my daughter is going to the bathroom, at least I think. <laughs> Because at least that was what the tablet was saying, that her room was opened. Was that or she got spooked a little bit with the, what's the word, the thunder. Which is also possible. Yeah, even the time of evening could be both. Yeah, so we made, they were these like sand bracelets where you have like basically like a tube, like 
wrist wide. We are a little bit big for a daughter, but well, she's just tiny. <laughs> And yeah, you need to put in one of these like special plugs and then you can pour the sand in like with like a funnel and then pour the sand in and stuff. Well, even in the instructions it said, put, put the plug in, put the funnel at the other end and pour the sand in. So that's what I did. Well, I showed her daughter how to work on it and it directly laid on the table. My understanding was that these things were solid. Apparently they were hollow. I was like, yeah, I'm going to help you with this. I put some clamps on like all the bags of sand so she could open them. So in the meantime, I could hold the um, bracelet up so she could pour it in. So it did work out, but yeah, it did not go according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> she had fun though. So she made three of the six that are in there. There is a lot, but there is a lot of sand in them. So I can make them another time with her again. Was like I'm not going to make the entire box in one go. Cause yeah, why would we? But yeah, she liked it. So that was nice. I also said, like, she asked if he, she could take them upstairs to her, like, jewelry box. I was like, yeah, you can. But do keep in mind, they can go open. They are made to, at a certain point, just pour them out. And, yeah, make them again. So do keep in mind, they can open. If they open, it's not a, not a disaster. But please do come and grab me so I can get the vacuum. So it is cleaned up directly. Because, yeah, there's not much sand in those things, but yeah, I don't want to have to clean it all. I'm not a big of a cleaning person. <laughs> I clean the necessary stuff and that's about it. So yeah, I'm one of those people that are like, I do the spot cleaning every day and like wipe the counter like 20,000 times a day, but... Yeah, don't ask me to do like the entire house every day because I'm not doing it. And my husband is totally okay with it. He's like, as long as it's clean, you don't need to be able to eat at the floor. But it also don't need to be like a giant mess. Don't need to be ashamed of when somebody looks inside our house. So I'm like, yeah, that's, that's normal. That's okay. Can live with that. <laughs> but yeah. Husband also like for one of the few times, I think this is like the first or second time since he works at a place where he works, he needed to work overtime. Apparently one of the systems that he needs to take care of broke down or something at least. Not entirely something that was his like main area of expertise, but it was something that he was able to fix. But yeah, it took him an extra hour to get home. And sad thing for him was that by that time, like thunder started and hail. So he needed to go home through that. And that's a whole lot of mess because yeah that's just no fun going through that so yeah he wasn't too happy kids and i ate just regular macaroni and he was like yeah i'm not in the mood for that he wasn't hungry at all so he was like yeah as soon as the kids go to bed i get these like mini pizzas they, we had them still in our freezer so it was like, yeah, I can heat those and those are then gone out of the freezer because he got them by accident. They were like, normally we got the small pizzas with um, salami on them, but he by accident got the version with tomatoes and the kids didn't like them and I also don't like them. So 
yeah, he was the only one to eat them. So in this case, it came out. He had something in the freezer that he could eat. But oh well. <laughs> But yeah, I wasn't too extremely happy with it. Normally they when the they have like over hours, they take it the hours in like the, another day, like most of the times like a day later, they go like if they have worked like an hour later, then they can leave an hour early. But he is now one of the few people, like for his section at work, so he's not able to do that. And next week he already has vacations. So I was like, yeah, that's an interesting thing to like solve that. <laughs> but well, it's not the worst that could happen. Obviously, nobody likes working overtime, but. At least he didn't like call him out of him his bed like hey can you come now because we have like a big issue so it wasn't too bad it still wasn't fun but <laughs> oh well yeah for the rest not much did happen we did have a enormous fruit fly annoyance okay my ring light is blinking like crazy so Hold on, my light might be flickering a little bit extra. Hopefully this does the trick. As my ring light, for one or the other stupid reason, doesn't always connect with my uh, laptop. So I don't know why, but at times it starts to flicker and most of the times I just need to wiggle the cable at the USB port a little bit and most of the times that works. but. Oh well. So hopefully that didn't annoy you too much, but I think that many people, just like myself, are basically using a whip and chat as like background noise. <laughs> At least I know I do. It's nice to have something going on when you're working on something. So that's why I am also like one of the persons that is not really a commenter person. I do like to receive comments though, but yeah, many times when I'm working on a diamond painting, it's in the evening and I'm working on my time lapse videos. So I'm not in like one to like, how to say it, uh, stop the video every few minutes. It's not that I don't want to comment. I do comment on a number of people, but I don't comment like on every single video, so yeah. But yeah, sometimes it's it's hard when you like you are watching a video and you like need to get up, pause everything, need to write a comment, go back to the place where you were seating and yeah it's a whole lot of something <laughs> but oh well we'll get there <laughs> yeah as i was saying like we had a whole fruit fly debacle or well flies in general but most of the times we have now at least here in the living room, we have a, like a fly screen uh, on the big window that we most of the times open. So thankfully the big flies don't get in too often. Even though on the weekend we even had a wasp in. So yeah, wasn't too happy with that. Caught it and released it outside. <laughs> oh, come on work along with me then you're not <laughs> but yeah so most of the times these like bigger flies are just annoying but they're like not in the way because most of the times you can find them and flatten them <laughs> 
And we have these annoying little fruit flies like so. <laughs> that was a kind of a loud bang. I don't know if you heard it, but but yeah, so also like our um container was pretty full with like banana peels and leftover fruit and stuff because yeah we had like a container of fruit that went bad too soon so yeah we couldn't eat it up and these fruit flies like love that stuff thankfully when they emptied out our container like most of them are gone by now or at least <laughs> <laughs> they weren't too bad in the container or bin or whatever you want to call it but yeah they were annoying there's still some left but it's not as bad as it was I always try to like like our food collecting little a kitchen counter thingy. I always try to clean that out regularly and stuff so it's not hopefully not as smelly. Yeah, especially with this heat <laughs> you can't just help it. Yeah, that, that, that's also like a downside of the kids being home from school. I need to provide the fruit myself. And yeah, my son loves bananas, so yeah, I have a lot of banana peels, and fruit flies apparently love banana. So yeah, me does not like bananas, for that reason. And just the taste I don't like. <laughs> but yeah, that's here nor there. Yeah, so hopefully when the container is emptied out again, it should get better again, because then we don't have as much fruit. Because, yeah, our kids get a fruit, like, supplied at school. So that's always nice. Um, yeah, for the rest, the only thing I can tell is that husband and I had our date night last week on Wednesday, as per usual. And we finished up the series we started, like, the weekend before. We started the series uh, Dead Boy Detectives. And we finished it. And I do need to say it was highly entertaining. I really recommend it. It's a strange show, but I can already... Don't do anything else than hope that they will make a season 2. Because it was very entertaining. And they had an ending that they could just go right along and do more. So hopefully... Hopefully Netflix will make another season, but it will probably still take a while before that will come out. Yeah, it was entertaining, so that's all I can ask for in the show. <laughs> I need to be entertained. Not sure what we'll be doing. Well, for me, it's tomorrow if you're watching this directly. When I'm uploading this, it's like, basically like, I don't know what we're doing today. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for, like, date night this week. Maybe we're going to play a game again. Maybe we're watching a show. I'm not sure. We'll see. It depends also a bit, like, what the mood is like. Like, what do we feel like? Or, like, yeah, we're going to play a game again. Or, like, nah. I'd rather plunk my behind on the couch and do nothing. But yeah, we will see. Yeah, I don't think I have much more to ramble on about because yeah, I think I have said everything. So yeah, like plans, don't have much. Like as I said, next week kids go to back to school. We have a birthday party for a kid that was in my daughter's class two years ago. So she celebrates her eighth birthday. Blah, blah, blah. her 8th birthday and her mom celebrates her 40th birthday so they have like a combined party which we are invited for so we will most likely on Friday still need to go shopping for them <laughs> <laughs> so 
So that's most likely what we will do on Friday. Maybe more tomorrow or on Thursday I will take the kids somewhere to shop for the girl, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So that's open for debate, but we will see. Now yeah, Saturday we have the party, Sunday most likely we'll keep quite low key so that the kids don't have, are, aren't like over stimulated before they go to school, especially our daughter has some issues with like if she's over stimulated. So we're trying to keep it like at least a little bit low key, but we will see. And for the rest. Yeah, not much planned. Okay, with that, like most of the weekend is already full, so <laughs> don't need more plans, but yeah. So uh, it's early enough in the evening, so I think I will be working on this section further along. Uh, for my cross stitch conversion, I just finished like half of the page that I'm now like, well, half of the part that I'm like working on now, so. Now it's working on the second part. The kit I kitted up last week with you out of this world from Dreamer Designs. I have finished my first part. So the first time lapse is ready to be, well, assembled. <laughs> to, sped up, make, to speed it up and put the music in and intro and the outro and the everything. And yeah, it's all a lot of work, but it's all fun. So that's what I still need to do. Yeah, for the rest, nothing crazy going on. So yeah, I think for like Diamond Dark Club versus Heaven and Earth Design or Heaven and Earth Design Run versus Square will be uploaded on Monday. I think Run versus Square, I think. That's open for debate, but it's one of those two, I guess. Yeah, for the rest, not much new happening, not much exciting happening. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at this because yeah, I can ramble on about nothing, but yeah, it's all something. <laughs> oh, we're still past the 50 minute mark, so I have rambled enough about nothing. For long enough. <laughs> With that being said, as per usual, if you like this rambly video, well, you probably like it, so please like the video. If you haven't already and you're still here, you might also consider subscribing because, yeah, if you listen to me ramble on for this long, I think it's confident to say that you like my rambling, or at least find it entertaining, or at least kills your time. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'd very much appreciate it if you would like to subscribe, if you haven't already. And yeah, otherwise, please at least give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube knows that uh, people like it. Yeah, and otherwise, just come back next time and I hope to keep you entertained. <laughs> With that being said, as I said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, well, you know the YouTube stuff, and I hope to see you in a next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, night, week, whatever applies, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!